Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Bell. This is Michael. We got a request to go over Snap to View Planes. If you look up here in your interface, you have these little uh, magnet icons. And these are all your snapping commands. You have Snap to Grid, Snap to Curve, Snap to Point, and then this one is Snap to View Plane. So the View Plane, what is that? A plane in Maya is like a flat surface. And a view plane is a flat surface that is aligned with the camera. So this camera view that I have of my perspective grid, if you imagine a piece of glass attached to my camera right in front of it, and we're looking through it right now, and when I rotate my camera, that piece of glass is affixed to the camera and is rotating with it and then we want to snap to that piece of glass that is attached to my camera view so that's what snap to view plane does now I will admit this this request kinda stumped me because I don't ever use snap to view plane in my day to day so I kinda had to uh, research a little bit and I realized that it's kind of it doesn't have a lot of use if you have any uh, other information about snap to view planes that I have not been able to find out or glean from what I've uh, researched, please comment in this video. You can help me and uh, Adam, the fellow who uh, re requested this, help us both out uh, in learning a little bit because that would be great. But as far as I can tell, Snap to View Plane, which is right here, if I turn it on, the only, it's, it seems to be on by default for the most part in your move tool. If I uh, double click my move tool and reset, and then if I just create a uh, polygon sphere, for instance. So if I, if you look at my move tool right now, let me go in the wireframe, it might be easier to see. But you see I have my green y-axis handle, my red x-axis handle, my blue z-axis handle, and in the middle of all that is this yellow square. And that yellow square, as I rotate my scene around, is constantly aligned with the camera. So if I click and drag on that yellow square and move this sphere, it's essentially aligned with the camera. So it's essentially snapped to view plane. That's pretty much what it's doing. If you uh, click on an arrow and move it, you'll see that yellow circle becomes blue just simply because it's not selected. If I click it and drag, it becomes yellow again and becomes highlighted because I'm using it as my tool, as my handle. If I control click my X axis handle, for example, that yellow square becomes aligned with the X axis. You'll see that when I rotate my scene now, that yellow square is stuck to the X axis alignment. And when I click and drag on it, it will align to the X axis as opposed to the camera. If I control click the center again, it will then align with the camera again and become camera aligned. So using this middle move uh, tool here, or middle move handle, I should say, is essentially the same thing as snapping to the view plane, because you're moving this sphere along the view plane. Now if I rotate my object, and I'll go back to shaded view, and I'll change my movement uh, mode to object mode. So now the move tool is aligned with the object you'll still see that I have my yellow middle selection handle here for my move tool that's still camera aligned and even though my tool is in object mode it still will align with the camera as I click and drag that yellow box around so snap to view plane is essentially on by default for the most part when you're moving things around with that center handle um, so I assumed that I could then use snap to view plane to simply draw a curve for example and it would snap to the plane of my view but it doesn't do that now I am using an older version of Maya so possibly newer versions may do this I'm not sure you have to confirm with me on that if I go to create CV curve tool and just kinda turn this snap, snap to view plane on I would have expected that when I draw this curve that it would then be as if I'm drawing this curve on that piece of glass attached to the camera like we talked about when I rotate my scene you'll see that's not the case so the only the only thing I found useful for snap to view plane to be honest has been when when creating a new object and placing it in the scene so I go to create 
polygon primitives, and I'll use a cube. And right now, snap the viewplane is off. So I do not have snap the viewplane on right now. If I click and hold shift, click and drag, I'm drag drawing my cube, and you'll see it's way over here. So I'll keep that one there. I'm going to turn snap the viewplane on now. I'll go to create polygon cube, click and drag, and now you'll see it's much closer. So it's snapped to the viewplane when it when it created the cube. It's like that glass, that piece of glass stretched across the camera became a collision point for that object. Whenever I clicked to place it, it collided with the viewplane and snapped, there, snapped it there as opposed to out here in space. And that's kind of the only discernible difference I've found. Because whenever I'm, because you see that when snap the viewplane is active, my yellow square becomes a yellow circle which it does when any snapping tool is active, it becomes a circle. And when I click and drag on it though, it doesn't really change how it reacted. If I move it over here and then duplicate it and move it over here with snap the viewplane on, and then turn it off and move this one back over here, you'll see it lines up pretty much exactly where it was. So if there's gonna be any difference in how it moves I would not have expected it to line right back up to where it was with the same camera angle. But there is no difference, which means it's pretty much acting the same way. So again, by default, essentially this center handle, whenever it is aligned with the camera, is using Snap to Viewplane. So hopefully that helps. If you have any other information about Snap to Viewplane, you'll help me out, you'll help Adam out, and it'll be a really great addition to the community. If you have any other requests, if I miss something, like I said, let me know. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video and keep watching. Thanks.